No, no, I'm gonna call you back later, okay? No, I'm recording something now, sorry. I, I simply just don't have time, okay? Bye. Do you get that a lot? Yes? You're calling people and they never have time for you? Uh, everybody always seems busy, right? You always have to make those calls and it's never easy, right? You get on a call, I don't have time. Sorry, I'm the car right now. Sorry, I'm doing something else right now. We asked you, what is it that you want us at Prop Coach to talk about that can help you in your real estate business? And you decided the cold call. So what are we gonna to talk to about today? How do we master the cold call? So let's start talking. So when you call people, yes, I know that you always get that same reaction. I don't have time, I am in the car, can you call me back later? And let me explain you a little bit where that comes from because there is a specific term for that. We call it the ADR. Yes, ADR, it stands for Automatic Defense Reaction. Automatic Defense Reaction all your potential clients that you call, you are calling them randomly. You know, they get a call out of nothing and they get this stranger on the phone and you know what happens to them? Their brain are sending signals to them like danger, like something is coming, you know? Don't, 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 don't trust this, don't, don't, don't do anything with this, you know? So their brain is in this defense mode, you know? It's like protecting, it's fear. So you as a professional salesperson in the real estate have to overcome that moment. It's very important that the first few seconds when you call somebody, you have to get over that ADR. You have to get over the automatic defense response. And it's not that very hard, but it's very dependent on how you make that call, on what you say, in how you say it. And most importantly, how do you make people feel comfortable by talking to you? Here I'm gonna give you a few tips to help you how to get past that ADR and actually have a good conversation with your clients. Are you ready for it? Okay, let's get started. Okay, first things that I want you to do is whenever somebody is coming back to you and saying, I don't have time right now, or this is not a good time, don't get offended. This is not about you, this is not personal. This is again the ADR. The first thing that you need to do, you have to always reply back with an extreme positive attitude. So when somebody tells you, sorry, I don't have time right now. Sir, I completely understand that you're busy. Let me take my full responsibility for that. You see how positive that is? And that will immediately send an effect to your clients like, wow, what a friendly person. What a great person to talk to. And then you go to the second question is, okay, when would it be a good time to call you? Because I really would like to talk to you for a while. Can I call you back in five minutes? Many salespeople out there just either hang up the phone and they say, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 not sorry, sorry. Give the positive attitude and don't get offended. You know already that they're going to say this. So the only reaction you're gonna give them is positive attitude. The second thing that is important for your call is that you have to make people feel comfortable with you. Yes, and to make people feel comfortable with you, it's all in your greeting, is how do you introduce yourself? Now, I have many Salespeople call me or I had people in my teams and they make a phone call and they say very, very hello, this is Taco. And people are like, who? Is it? Who? You're going too fast. You're not giving your clients a chance to hear your name or to even hear the company that you work for. So you have to take it very slowly. Hi, this is Taco speaking from Prop Coach. And sometimes they will still ask you who? and you just do the same thing again until they get it. Sorry, sorry, maybe I didn't say that clearly enough. This is Taco speaking from Prop Coach. Take that very slowly because you have to understand their brain of the people you call are not warmed up yet. They're not prepared to take in information. So the faster you go, the more pushy it will feel, the more like, oh my God, danger, danger, this is going too fast. No, very slowly. Hi, this is Taco from Prop Coach, and make them feel comfortable, yes? And of course, when you ask, hey, this is Taco from Prop Coach, who is this? Or if you know their name, immediately say their name. Hey, this is Taco from Prop Coach, is this Kai speaking? Yes, Kai, hi, how are you today? The next part that I wanna take you through is that once you said, how are you today? They will usually not just say, oh, I'm doing great. What they will say is, what's this about? Who is this? What do you want? What is, uh, how did you get my number? And again, the trick is positive attitude. 
That's a great question, sir. Let me tell you exactly how I got your number. And then you explain it to them. Or, sir, what this is about is really a great question. But to explain this to you, do you allow me to ask you a few questions? Extreme positive attitude. But again, you have to make them comfortable. So whatever question they ask you in the speed, don't take that personal and make sure you always go back to them with a question first. Don't immediately go into the sale. Don't go into, hey, listen, uh, we, we, we th you, you signed up uh, for something and uh, we want to talk about a little bit more. Uh, when can we make an appointment? No, 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 no. Take it easy. You have to go slow space because their brain is still trying to get comfortable with the situation. They're still trying to figure out, is this a dangerous situation or is this actually something that I can listen to? Your first 15 seconds of that call is all all going to be about comfort comfort that client it's going to be extremely important about your greeting and also in the words that you say after that get them over that ADR because that's going to be the key of continuing that call now as you have taken them over that ADR right now they feel a little bit more comfortable but they're not very comfortable yet because they're still thinking oh, okay what's this call about what is this going to be about well uh, 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 why am I on this call with this person right now it's first important before you start talking about products your services your company it's first to see what is the common ground here what is going to be the first thing that can connect you with each other right because people are just wondering like really they're like like trying to figure out why is this person calling me out of the blue why 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 am i suddenly talking to a stranger here remember our parents told us not to talk to strangers so you know they, they're feeling all this danger so you have to find this common ground so again you might want to remind them again how did you get their contact or you want to mind to remind them is what made you call this specific person right it can be always very simply done with a question right so for example if somebody signed up for one of your advertisings and that's how you collected their number you say hi sir uh, we have collected your phone number and email address through this specific advertising can you recall that if they say yes okay you found the common ground if they say no they say no problem okay that's absolutely no problem that you can remember that let me give you a little bit more information right now it's actually about this and this project so I was just wondering are you specifically looking for real estate right now you see I take that information and convert it immediately back into a question because the first thing is you're trying to find common ground and they might say yeah I, I may be looking for real estate or I'm not looking for real estate absolutely no problem sir and again you will be going back to them with a question yes that's why a script is so important so three final tips that I want to give you first of all when you call make sure that you stand when you call and have a huge smile you might think it's not important but it really is because it all reflects your positive attitude when you call when you have the phone in your hand or you have a earpiece whatever it is smile and stand and move a little bit around make sure you have that call like a conversation second thing again positive attitude comes from you using right words right communication so we always advise use a script yes use a script and the third thing final tip whenever somebody hangs up on you whenever something happens somebody gets says something nasty to you on the phone don't take it personal it's not about you it's about them they are just overthrown with just somebody calling them out of the blue so don't get take that personal it's not about you the first thing you do when somebody hangs up on you let's make this rule when somebody hangs up on you you immediately make a next call because that next caller is not going to hang up on you that's going to be your one of your best clients shall we do that okay i hope that i helped you a little bit today today with cold calling there's so many more mechanics to it but i hope i gave you a little bit the basics i wish you good luck and make a lot of calls bye